Hi, this is Sandra. I'm here again with another recipe, and this recipe is one of my favorite. I love uh, chicken enchiladas. A lot of people have made a lot of enchiladas on the uh, YouTube channel, so I'm going to make mine too. And my chicken enchiladas are made out of these flat out. They call them flat out uh, tortillas and wheat. And I'm going to make a wheat one. And I'm going to turn it this way and make sure it's facing this way so you know which one. Because I cannot get my camera right to show you the product. But this is called flat out. And it has the carrots. And it's 100 carat per one, and it's 9 grams of protein, and it's high fiber. So I'm going to use these, and then I'm going to use Tyson chicken. Now the reason why I'm giving you these because this is the product I like using, and they do my recipes real, real good. So why should I not share them with you? This is Tyson chicken. Turn it that way, and turn it that way, so you can see which one. And it's grilled chicken breast scripts. I'm going to let you see what one looks like. And they are grilled. Real grilled chicken breast. And they are real good. And I like using Borden's cheese. It's a drop cheddar. I like that. I love using Borden's. And I like using sour cream. But I used to get the dollar uh, daisy. But I use this one too. This is my favorite. The best choice. Sour cream. I like using that. So, what we're going to do is get ready to do this. Oh, yes. And I like using my favorite. Oh, wow. I put cheese Alfredo sauce from Kroger. I found this. Good price. Tastes good. Love it. And then I use um, this chicken. Well, it's not chicken. It's uh, green chili and gelato sauce. I like using that sauce. Turn it that way so you can see who it is. My Pusmus. I like using it in the yellow can. And my marinara sauce, y'all. Yes, indeed. I love that. Okay, we're going to get started with this. So what we got now is the onions. is already cooked in here. And I warmed the chicken up. So what I'm going to do is, you know, kind of shred the chicken a little bit like that. Just a little bit. Just shred it a little bit so it can be kind of shredded instead of being whole. I like it like that. And I know you probably do too. You want a big bite of chicken. But hey, if you get a big bite of chicken and it's loud, you got a, a blessing. <laughs> okay, now we got a little shredded up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is show you what I do. I like blending all this together like this. All the chicken and everything together. And I add, like to add a little rice. A little rice with mine. Because it gives it a little, you know, sturdiness. I like to add a little rice with mine and stir it up. We're going to cut this up now so it can um, kind of cook. And then I like to put the cheese in there. I like to put the cheese in there just like that. And then some mozzarella cheese and I just a little. Because we're going to stuff them with this here. We're going to stuff them like that. And then we're going to add our spices while this is getting warm. We're going to add our spices. Move all this out the way we already showed you about the types of chicken. So we're going to put chili powder. Chili powder goes in this dish. Just like that. As much as you want. And we're going to use some cumin cumin and chili powder seem like they are married together and they have to work together like that. And then we're going to put calendar, uh, uh, ground calendar, ground calendar y'all. They, uh, he's trying to separate the chili powder and the cumin, but there's no way. Then we're going to add some paprika, give it a little color on it. And then we're going to add just a little of my marinara sauce to give it a little hint of red. Just a little. Not that much. Just a little because these are chicken and gelato. But we're going to use just a little marinara sauce to give it a little body to it. A little saucy, you know. 
Now we stir it up like that. Now see, this is what makes it taste good. When you buy into the angelata, you got that taste coming through. Then we're going to add my four season. Yes, indeed. A recipe is what you want to make it, y'all. I'm going to add that to it. Not the four season, I mean the four cheeses, excuse me. The four cheeses of the Alfredo sauce. Okay, we got this all cooperated, just like that. Cooperated. I can't talk today. What's up? Okay, we're going to let that simmer. And then as that simmer, I'm going to put some Parmesan cheese with it. I like for my stuff to be cheesy. I don't know about y'all, but I do. When I said cheesy, I mean cheesy, you know? Okay, so we got that in there. Then we're going to add a little sour cream. To the batch and we're gonna wrap this up we're gonna show you how we're gonna wrap this up and open this right quick okay we're gonna open this with slippery hands y'all you know i got slippery hands so what i'm gonna do is get a knife and open it like that okay i'm gonna add this about a gallop I like that into these chicken and the lot oh it smells so wonderful already y'all I'm gonna stir that together see that's what this is about this is the season to the chicken and the lotters. okay we don't want to make this and a lot not tasting good we want them to taste good okay now we got that in there like that we're gonna taste this this spoon Tastes like an enchilada to me, y'all. We need some more. Hmm. Chili powder. Put a little bit more chili powder, and that'll be it. Okay. What we're gonna do now? With that be like that, I'm gonna get one of these. Um. Uh, just like that. I'm gonna. Murder now like that. Put that down. Now what we're gonna do is add some more cheese to this. More cheese. Oh, we said they're gonna be cheesy. So we got to put cheese in there, y'all. Okay, that's cheesy. And then we're gonna wrap them like this. Now you can uh, soak these in the angelata sauce, but I don't want to. <laughs> but you can and make some a better angelata. We're not going to soak them. I'm going to put that back down. I'm going to give y'all the truth, and the truth will help me God. I am so tired of cleaning this hot plate. I just get to the point where I don't want to clean it no more. <laughs> That's a shame. But I have cleaned that hot plate so much. So y'all bear with me. Now see, I like this way it covers the whole enchilada like that. I mean the whole thing. I like that. Oh, I forgot to put cheese in that one. Okay, well, let's see. We can unveil it. And add the cheese. Look how beautiful that's going to be. See, that's going to be so cheesy. So good, you know. Add some more cheese to it. So we're going to put cheese with it. There you go. Now we're gonna wrap it back up. I won't hurt anything. Then we're we'll gonna do another one. We're just gonna do about maybe four. Cause I ate one with a sandwich the other day, and it was so good. Let's see how I got that like that. I like it like that. I like creamy and thick, cheesy and stuff. I like that. Okay, now cheese in there like that. We're going to wrap them up again. Like that. I like them because they're long and they just feel, you know, have that little extra wrapping on it. That's the last one, y'all. So we're going to do it like this. Now these are wheat. These are wheat and I'm telling you, they are delicious. And they have the calories. So you know you want that, don't you? Okay, now we're going to put some more uh, mozzarella 
cheese like that. And then we got some more cheese like that. So we're going to wrap these up like that. Now see, this is a good little recipe. You know, a lot of people cook different ways. And I'm just going to show you the way I do mine. Okay, now, hmm, let's do it. Got one left for a sandwich. So what I'm going to do now, kind of squeeze it out. What I'm going to do now is add this melted cheese. And this is a melted cheese that I melt a block of cheese. So what I'm going to do is just spread it like this in the middle. Like that. Now, I eat a lot of different things. So I keep my heart from being so clogged up with cheese <laughs> because I eat healthy. Okay, we're going to spread this out like this. Now this is melted. This is an 8 ounce block of Kraft cheddar, chopped cheddar cheese. Okay, we got that like that. Put that in the middle. Let's still cook that. And then we're going to use the sauce. This green sauce. And we're going to pour it all over like that. Because when that cheese melts, it's going to melt into the angelata. See that? It's going to melt into the angelata. I thought we might need it warm. I'm going to open two cans, but I'm glad I didn't. Okay, and that's it. So we're going to put some uh, Puerto Rico. Well, first we're going to put some Pepperino. I like stuff hot, y'all. And then we're going to add some Pepperico to give it a color. We have black olives. Let's get the black olives. Oh, that smells so good. Get the black olives out of the refrigerator. Steak said, hey, this one was cooking at home. Okay, um, black olives, we'll cut them up like that. Just like that, black olives. I buy the whole olive because you save more by cutting them up instead of buying them. Okay, there's the black olives on there. And we don't need more cheese because this cheese going to bubble up on there. We got cheese inside. We'll move all this out the way. We got the sour cream and everything. Might put these last olives on here, so I might as well. It's, I love black olives. Some people don't like olives, but I like black olives. I think they cool. I like them better than the green ones. Okay, now we're going to put this in the oven and it bubble up and get brown and show you what the end result is. And this is Sandra. I'll be right back and let you see what the finished product is. Sandra, bye. Hi, this is Sandra. Here's the finished product of the chicken angelatas. Oh, they come out so good and so rich and so creamy and so cheesy. <laughs> oh, they are so beautiful. They have the flavor of a Mexican authentic angelata. The chicken. And look at that. Chicken angelatas and the milk in your mouth. They are so good. I put a little marinette sauce. Oh, they are so good. Oh, they're so spicy and so flavorful and so seasoned. Mm, mm, mm. I put some marinara sauce in the mix to make them a little redder because chicken and the lots of me are bland looking when they don't have any color but you can do as you want but listen to this don't you see how beautiful they are their little reddish color <laughs> this is sandra you can get this recipe from soulfulqueen.net and you get the illustration from soulfulqueen YouTube and uh, get this delicious angelata chicken angelata recipe. Look at that, y'all. 
Look at that angelata. Look at that. Look at that angelata. It is so delicious. This is Sandra. I want to say happy eating and thank you for coming to my channel. And if you like chicken angelatas, try this recipe. This is so delicious, y'all. This is Sandra. I want to say happy eating. And thank you again and again and again for coming to my channel. And look at this magnificent angelata. Chicken angelata. Look at that. Ooh, ooh. Look at that. Ain't that good? Ooh. <laughs> it's so cheesy and so delicious. This is Sandra. I want to say happy eating.